let's open up the Cricut Cake mats and we'll start. These mats are just like the regular Cricut mats that you use, with the exception, obviously, of the way they look. Um, and they smell horrible. But anyway, my kids think the other ones smell horrible too. But when I first opened this package, I thought they smelled pretty good. But they smell awful. They really, I wish this, if this were smell vision you would be turning it down. Anyway, um, the one difference is this is smooth. No stickiness at all. So um, what we're going to have to do is put some shortening down on this and then roll out whatever I decide we're going to cut and see if our Cricut Fake works pretty well. It almost looks like a cake, right? If I cut up my other expression, which is red, it would look totally like a cake. But we're just going to have to go with this. All right. So now I need to put in the um, blade that we got ready, and hopefully it will work for us. I was wondering if I shouldn't try the um, deep blade assembly instead, but I didn't get it out. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this without looking. Good grief. What the heck is wrong with me? The blade is too deep. Huh. How about that? Well, I think we both learned something. All that fiddling was because uh, I can't use the Cricut Cake Blade in this green assembly, the regular assembly. It doesn't fit. I can't even get it into my Cricut. So I'm going to uh, try the Deep Blade assembly and see if that works any better. And I hope it will because if it doesn't, then I bought some Cricut Cake Blades for nothing. Let me get this dirty blade out of here. Now I have to clean this one. What a pain. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to take the blade that I had in the green assembly, which was the cake blade, and put it in the blue assembly, which is the deep blade assembly. And hopefully this can handle the what we found to be the deeper Cricut cake blade. I think it's going to be able to. But uh, I really don't know, so we'll find out together. Okay. And just for safety's sake, let me put the other blade back in here. Let's see if we can get the Cricut Deep Cut Blade in here without any trouble. That works. That works. Yay! Sweet! Oh, haha, -ha, a food joke. Okay, moment of truth. I am ready to turn it on, so let's hope that it works and I don't get electrocuted or anything and everything should be fine. All right. Ta-da! It looks like the roller's rolling. Awesome. Sweet! So that part's still working, so yay to that. And now, you know what? I think I'm going to lay a cartridge on it. We will use Just Because cards. Just because. I happen to have it nearby. And actually, that's going to be one of my first projects with my new Cricut Fake. I'm going to use the Just Because cards and make some cookies, I think. So don't quote me on that exactly because maybe I won't. But let's go ahead and load this. And now I've got the cake thing. Seems to be fine. Oh, it does want to kind of... Well, I think it's fine. Now I'm going to hit load. Hmm. A problem. You know what? It's still that blade. I can't get it up close enough. What about that? You know what? Cricut fake owners, you can't use the cake blade. I just don't think it's going to happen. Not without the cake assembly. You know what? Let's give it up. I'm sick of you, Cricut cake blade. You should just go hang out with somebody else. Go find me an assembly. So, let's try this. Maybe we can have some kind of luck here. Sticking in the deep cut blade. Get out of the way, Matt. You're totally in the way. See, I've lost my patience with this. Twisting it in. All right, moment of truth once again. Hopefully this will be good truth. Look, now, see, it's going all the way in and it's hitting these little, these little roller bumper things on either side, so I think that's a good sign. Now let's just make sure it'll work. I'm hitting load paper. <laughs> You know what? It's not going to work because, believe it or not, I have to hit unload paper first since it tried to um, 
do it the first time. Okay, one more time. Now load paper. Ta-da! Yeah! All right, it worked. Very exciting. Now you know what? We just have to actually make something. So that will be step two. This first part was converting your Cricut expression into a Cricut cake. Or as I've said a thousand times, a Cricut fake. And I think we've done that. Now whether or not it works, I don't know. Clearly we cannot use the Cricut cake um, blades. Let me get that. If you're making a Cricut fake and you don't have the assembly that goes with the Cricut cake blade, do not buy the Cricut cake blades. They will not work for you or me. They don't work in this one. They don't work in the blue one. They don't work. And these little covers that go for them, useless, unless you want a hat for your tiny blade assembly, forget about it. Okay, so that's it. We can, so far, turn our Cricut expression into a Cricut cake. And in my next video, we'll find out if it actually works or not to actually cut something, okay? So in the next video, I'm gonna cut one of three things. I'll either cut gum paste, fondant, or cookie dough. And um, we're gonna have a good old time with it, so I hope you'll check in. Thanks a lot for coming to joyslife.com. See you guys later.